What's going on YouTube? It's been a minute. Been out here busy making money in this heat. Uh, summer is my favorite time to hustle and grind and just get after it, though. We got so much light. Um, up, up here in North and Seattle, the sun usually goes down in in the winter and the fall and like literally by four o'clock it's dark. But now you have we have like until nine o'clock you can work. So it's awesome. You can get out there, work really all day. And of course, you know, usually my girlfriend gets pissed because I'll go home late as fuck. But Anyway, so this, this job right here is just a metal roof. We were just brushing it off, and then we're going to soft wash it. Nothing too crazy. Uh, yesterday, I did a job very similar. I did another metal roof. Um, this this job in this video was about 450 bucks. The one I did yesterday, though, um, I have some other footage of that. But that one was $1,000, and it took me you know about five, six hours or so. But pretty good money. It's always nice to make 1000 bucks in a day. But yeah, so the reason for this video, though, is I want to address a couple of points that I think are very important. So number one, the market is slowing down. So what I've seen from running ads and such, the market is definitely still going, but it's definitely slowing down. So I've noticed that lead costs for even for my business, which I've never had an issue getting leads, the lead cost is closer to eight dollars. That being said, though, um, if once you just figure out the lead cost, you just spend that amount per per lead and you're, you're fine like i spent like 115 bucks this weekend and leads are eight bucks um so yeah i got like 16 solid leads and as as we just mentioned i got a job yesterday it was a thousand bucks um so 100 bucks or 100 something bucks spent to get 16 leads i mean i'm gonna book s several of them i already have like this next week booked up um i'm already booking for the end of the month um it's gonna be busy so i mean the money is still the money's still out there um, this is this is the time that winners are made because um, anyone who relies on the market to go up and down or, or just like complains about you know the president or, or this and that like anyone who's going to complain about that that's really not good that's really not a winner's mindset you're, you're never going to get any far with that when you're blaming other things this is the time that other people are quitting so this is the time when you should be going hard when other people are quitting this is a great time to go in knuckle down get after it like imagine it's like the movie rocky for i like to think it's you know it was cold snowy outside he, he had to travel to russia to fight ivan drago but um i mean most people when it's cold and shit they're they they do not want to go work out but what does rocky do he does the same thing he always does he gets up throws on his jacket he runs around in the snow and um he goes out and kicks ass so it's it's, it's really like that you know most people you just got to find what most people don't want to do already we have our jobs that we do we do roofs gutters um, house washes, driveways, fencing. What what is our whole business model, anyways? It's people stuff that people don't want to do. People don't want to wash their windows. People don't want to wash their cars. People don't even want to order their own food. So we just find what people don't want to do, and we just do it. And if you want to win in business, you know there's there's always a competition. But if you just do what the competition won't do, then that's that's how you beat the competition. So for me, I've gotten really good at running my own Facebook ads. Um, I run Facebook ads for other people as well. Um, not not taking any clients currently, but. Um, unless you are doing, you know, at least six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month, then you know, maybe shoot me an email below. Other than that, though, I want my one of my goals is really to to teach people, you know, these things of, of how to get your own business, how to um, get as many customers as you as you want as you can handle, because it's really not that hard, you know, running the ads like some of the ads you guys have seen me run, really not that complicated. But the key, the biggest secret that I could share with anybody is you just have to be willing to test and fail and fail and fail. Sometimes I'll run a dozen ads, testing a bunch of different offers, bunch of different words, headlines, copy, pictures, dozens before I find one that wins. And for me, that's that's how I know I can make money instantly because I know what works here. I know the offer. So I can run ads any time of the year and make money. When I'm running ads for other people, it's a little bit harder. There's a lot more research. But that's why I really suggest that you get in on it yourself. You do your own research because the person who runs the, their business, they're always going to know their business the best like no one's ever going to be able to beat you as far as like your knowledge of your market and your business so really just just learning how to do it yourself you know um watching videos like this i got i got the courses and stuff the book as well of course so go check those out if you want to learn a little bit more about the marketing but other than that just you know what we talked about is just just going after when other people are quitting um and when when people else when other people are are stopping their ads because it's too expensive or they're stopping to stopping work they're not pressure washing or, or cleaning roofs or cleaning windows when other people are stopping that's the time to go after like COVID 19 was a great time to grow your business because most people quit most people stopped working and i honestly saw a great business time that's that's when i really started my business and i had zero problem getting customers getting clients once i figured out how to do it um and yeah i recently just been reading rereading 
Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. This is this is the kind of the last story that I got for for this video. But I, I try and reread that book once a year. And my favorite chapter so far is the, the story about how there's this guy, he's a miner, and he finds this gold mine and he goes out, gets all the tools, and comes back, starts digging, and he's got his whole family in it. They're all they're all digging up the gold and it's it's awesome. Then all of a sudden the mine dries up and they can't find the gold. And so they dig and they dig and they dig, but finally they just give up. And um, so they sold all the shit to a junkyard owner who he heard about it. And so he, he went and hired a mining expert. And so he went and they, they took a look at the mine and they're like, oh, well, this is this is this and that there was fault lines here. So what had happened was they stopped drilling just three feet away from the gold. They were only three feet away. So they quit just a little bit too early. They just weren't going the right direction. And I, I think this really applies to everyone. I mean, many times in life we're going to be tempted to quit. But really all it is is just going that few extra feet even when you think you can't go any further. And that, that's really the point of this video. You know, when other people are quitting, don't quit. Do not be that motherfucker that quits. Get after it. Like there is so much money out there. I've shown you guys the money. Like I'm not just making this up. You're not just, you can't just make money for nothing. Um, but the shit we do there, people want it. People are willing to pay for it, willing to pay good money. So get after it. There's really never going to be any better time than now. Like it's, it's just going to get harder in the future, but that's why right now is amazing to start and get after it. So Start running your ads, get after it. Let's go. See you guys in the next video.